Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at Microsoft Teams and how that relates to Power BI and what the heck is going on there. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, I've seen a ton of questions about this, both during my day job, as well as out on Twitter and Facebook groups and all sorts of places about why the heck when I create a team inside of Microsoft Teams, it ends up creating an app workspace in Power BI and how do we stop it? There is a very good reason as to why this is happening and we are gonna look at all of it. So the first thing that, wait, hang on. Enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop and see what's going on. So let's just go in and create a new team. So I'm gonna go and we're gonna create a team, build it from scratch, and we'll say public, and we'll give it a name so that we can identify it easily. All right, we got our team. One thing to understand is after I've created this team itself, it may take a minute or two before it actually shows up in Power BI. So let's go and actually take a look. We'll jump over to Power BI, just go and refresh it, and we'll look at our workspaces, and bam, there it is, YouTube demo. I got my workspace. What is up with that? What's actually happening here is it's creating the old classic workspace. So within Power BI right now, there's a transition going on between the old classic workspace and the new workspace experience or workspace V2 as some people have called it. And you can tell when I'm inside of this app workspace for YouTube demo, I don't have the access button. I don't have some other things that would show up if I was in the new workspace. So let me jump over to a new workspace just to compare. And you'll see I've got settings, I've got access, and I've got other items going on, right? So this is the new workspace. If I go back to the YouTube demo, that is the old classic workspace. When you create a Microsoft team, it creates an Office 365 monitor group under the covers. The old classic workspace is bound to the Office 365 monitor groups. If I create a classic workspace inside of Power BI, it does create the Office 365 monitor group, but it doesn't actually create the team. I would have to go and create a team from an existing Office 365 group to get that. I totally get the frustration and I see a lot of that in all of the comments that I see. So I wanted to address two other things with this. One is how do we stop it from happening? And the answer is there's not really a way to do that. You could control the creation of Office 365 groups all up, which would then prevent someone from creating a team which in turn would create a workspace inside of Power BI, but that's probably not optimal for your organization and probably not realistic. So like I said, there is a transition going on and there will be a migration that will be available from the old 365 modern groups to the new Power BI workspace experience, at which point you could delete that workspace. But again, it's not ideal. So until the classic workspace goes away completely, this issue will be present. The other thing I wanted to call out, because this actually hit me one time and it was a pain in the butt, is the Office 365 Modern Group comes with other resources too. It comes with OneDrive space for storage, you know, the SharePoint site, all these things. So you may be using that from an organization perspective and putting documents and things of that nature. And so one time what I did was I came into the workspace uh, I went into edit and I'm like, look, I don't want this workspace anymore. Let me just go ahead and edit and let me go and delete that workspace. Bam, gone. Don't need it anymore inside of Power BI, except what it actually did was deleted the Office 365 monitor group, which was a problem. So if we go into the admin portal, if you're a Power BI admin or an Office 365 global admin, we can come into workspaces and we could see and we can see YouTube demo and it's in the state of deleted. With inside of Power BI, there isn't a way to recover the old classic workspace. So what we have to do is actually, you're gonna need to find your global admin. They will have to do it over in the Office 365 Admin Center or the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We've gotta go over to Exchange, you can go to Groups under Recipients. And then inside of here, you will see the YouTube demo and it was deleted today at which point we can actually click here to restore. And that'll bring the Office 365 Modern Group back. It'll bring back all the documents and everything else. So that's what you're gonna have to do if you accidentally deleted it and you wanna recover it, which I did one time and it was a little bit frantic. 
So if you create a team inside of Microsoft Teams and you get that workspace that shows up inside of Power BI, just be aware that that's why it's showing up. It's that Office 365 Modern Group. Once the classic workspaces go away that are tied to the Office 365 Modern Group, everything will be great. You can create a team and it won't create a workspace inside of Power BI. We just gotta wait a little bit longer. I don't actually have know about a timeline for that, but if you stay posted to the Power BI blog, you'll see whatever announcements come out regarding that. All right, I know this is probably gonna spawn a lot of comments, but I definitely wanna hear them. Let me know down in the comments below. Vent if you want, I will be your sounding board. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.